Hello and welcome to my Christmas in July Crafty Cafe video. Uh, it's Teresa here and I've made a card and some wrapping paper from a background I created using stamps from craftycafe.com.au. Here are the stamp sets I used. Wild and Free by Waffle Flower. Lots of useful little images in this set. Uh, happy 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 from Lawn Form and the matching dies. And apologies for that um, glare. It's really cloudy here in Melbourne, so I'm right up against a window. Okay, here goes. I have all the stamps mounted onto separate blocks ready to go with their corresponding ink. And I'm taking the largest image first, which happens to be a flower, and stamping that randomly with light pink ink. It's Versa Magic Pink Peony. There's no pattern to it. I just don't want them in straight lines. And you'll also notice I'm turning don't forget to stamp off the edge of your piece. Uh, I've already cut this piece to the correct size so it's ready to roll as soon as I finish the stamping. Um, the next colour I'm using is Abandoned Coral Distress Ink and I'm stamping the shadow part of the flower. I'm match making some effort to align this with the flower image without being too finicky. Next I stamp the leafy branch image using Peeled Paint Distress Oxide Ink. I just love this colour. It's super important to turn this stamp um, so it's a, because it's quite linear, you want them all in different directions uh, and it really helps create that random look. Okay, next is that sticky branch image with uh, dark green ink uh, and I've used archival olive green here. Just filling as many as those of those gaps as I can. Uh, the round puffy flower image uh, gets stamped on top. It fits right on top of that that other sticky branch image. I don't know what, what else to call these. Um, I'm using Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide for this. And again, making a little bit of effort to line them up but not being too, too picky. And last of all, to fill in any white gaps that are left over, um, is the smallest image of all, that's the three little dots and I'm stamping these with Abandoned Coral ink. Now I'm using double sided tape to assemble my card. I mounted the stamp background onto a layer of gold cardstock and now onto a white card. Sometimes I don't have the exact stamp that I need so and I need to improvise. So here I am with my Dymo labeler um, printing off the word Christmas. I just wanted small. Now I stamped the scripty happy birthday word from the Lawn Fawn stamp set and embossed it with gold embossing powder and here I am cutting it out. I'm also using the die to cut the word from Fun Foam so I can glue them together and raise the word up off the card. Okay, here's a piece of thin white paper that I uh, stamped using the same stamp settings as before. I'm going to use it to wrap a small gift and I'm going to use double-sided tape instead of regular sticky tape because I don't want to hide any of the pattern. And now it's just some gold cord. I'll wrap that around twice and tie a knot. Quick and simple. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll list all of the Crafty Cafe products used in the video in the description. See you soon.